Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Today we have the good fortune of having a pediatric patient. We do see a lot of pediatric patients here at Jaws Podiatry. Very atypical presentation until proven otherwise. Oh, a wart on the top of the toe. Let's take a look. So, let's get, Melissa, let's get a nice close-up there. So this is, um, looks like a little kernel, a corn kernel, and it's definitely firm. Okay. And we can definitely move it. And it's been there for a couple of weeks. The patient is very active nonetheless, does play soccer. The parents were telling me that they're, they've, they've been, he has been in, um, I guess, in public, in a public pool lately, and I guess they've made the mistake of maybe you know, not using any water socks and so on and so forth, uh, and so forth. So, what we're going to go ahead and do, you know, there are different there are different ways, okay, to treat warts in general, whether it's cryotherapy, whether it's surgical excision, whether it's chemical cautery there's there's just a lot of different ways there's not only one way to eradicate uh, a wart in our past videos that I've presented in respect to plantar warts uh, I think a lot of people know that um, I do not like especially for pediatric patients this is extremely traumatic right this experience is a, is a very traumatic experience for the patient more so when they're younger patients and older patients. The, I feel very strongly of not performing the curatage, basically just, you know, numbing the area, extremely traumatic, that's number one. Then taking a, a curette and curetting all that tissue, extremely traumatic. Um, and then also there, uh, the complete surgical excision of the wart. Again, extremely traumatic, local anesthesia, the needle, the whole entire experience is very, um, very traumatic. And I, and I continue to say that word because it really, really is. Um, what I, in the last 13 years, what I have used, as everyone knows it, is the Beetlejuice, uh, the Canthrone, and it's extremely effective. Um, because it is extremely, extremely powerful. It is an acid and it works really, really well. The nice thing about the beetle juice is that um, it doesn't hurt. It's completely and totally painless. So in respect to the experience for mom, dad, as well as the patient, it's a win, 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 win for me as well. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to remove, a, you know, the top layer uh, just to make sure that the, come around here, Melissa, let's give everyone a really nice close-up view there. Just focus, zoom in there, all the way there, more and more, perfect, there we go. And basically, we try to remove a little bit of this, right, just like that, very carefully. Trying to give everyone a really nice look here and a visual. And again, a very atypical location. We don't see a whole lot of these on the top, especially in kids. Okay, the pinpoint bleeding is totally normal. He did not feel anything, right? And, and I will go ahead and explain that a little bit more. So these warts in general, the virus, they survive and thrive from obviously blood. That's how they survive, blood. So imagine these little, these little roots underneath the wart. And these little roots are the are the ones that are feeding the the virus in order for it to to survive 
Déjame saber si te molesta, ¿ok? Let's get a nice close up there. Yeah, so everyone can see. This is what we call the pinpoint bleeding. Thank you, Melissa. So we're going to continue to take just a little bit more. Okay. And just like that. Está bien, papi. And, and, and again, he doesn't feel any, any discomfort because at, at this level, we're still... ¿Sentiste un poquito? ¿Dolor? No. Poquito, un poquito más y ahí terminamos. We're going to go, I've just told the patient, we're just going to take a little, little bit more. Okay, now we've exposed... We'll just say the first layer of the ward. I think that's good enough for today. But also, vamos a ver el, el, el otro. El otro piecito. The patient also. Pongan aquí. Ponme el piececito así. No, derechito. Así. Y ahora para arriba. He also has two little ones here. Two little ones. Two little ones on the right foot, right underneath the gray toe, right here. Está bien? Mm -hmm. Dolor? Mm -hmm. Coquilla. Ticklish. <laughs> That's why he's moving the. Okay. No. Es lo mismo. Buena pregunta. No, eso es verruga. Berruga, dos berruguitas, two little warts. And as everyone can see, there's a lot of. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. And you see the same thing? You have the pinpoint bleeding. Yeah. So he didn't feel a thing. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a. I think on the on the right, these two we'll, we can definitely eradicate with one application of the beetle juice. I know we're in the right location because it's already. Oh, and there it is. Okay. So now we're in the other, we're in the right place. So without further ado, okay, now Melissa will stay there and I'm going to come around and get the beetle juice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of pressure here. Okay. Okay, so now the first thing again, we have the beetle juice here. Okay. This is extremely strong, everyone. Mom just asked me if it burns, and I said no. Okay, now we turn this around. Esto se llama canthron. Canthron. Es hecho de beetle juice. Sí, ya. De beetles. No, él ya lo dijo. Es ca... Es Escarabajos. Escarabajos. Oh, now let's go, as everyone can see. Melissa, over here, please. But everyone can see it's white. That's the reaction. You see that? Hay que tener cuidado. Let's go now. Let's go to the, to the right. No, I can be beautiful. We want to make sure that there's no there's no blood because the blood will actually also deactivate the catherine. 
the Beetlejuice. Did that hurt? Did that hurt what I just did to you? Did it hurt at all? No, but the part of what you did in my left foot, yes, it did hurt, but only a little bit. But very little? Yeah. Okay, so so everyone heard that. Um, everyone heard that. That was the, the patient. I guess, so, you know did feel a little bit, probably a little bit of the discomfort, just the debridement of the of the top layer of the callus. And believe it or not, that's it. So now we wait two weeks, the, they will come back. On the right, uh, um, I suspect that we will definitely eradicate the two lesions on the right. And on the one on the left, I've, uh, I've already discussed with the parents that maybe two or three, even sometimes even four applications every two weeks. Uh, but you know, Talk about a wonderful experience for everyone. This is exactly what I mean. Um, it's it's definitely a great practice builder. A lot of uh, podiatrists uh, do use cantharone uh, as a first line treatment for um, for warts in general. Um, so, like always, um, www.jospodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Toe Jam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Thank you for watching.